I keep hearing something over to my left. So I'm out here to pick up a camera. What the heck was that? And it's kind of overgrown now. So hopefully we won't see no snakes. I don't mind snakes. I just don't want to step on one. <gasps> oh my gosh, what was that? I just heard a huge friggin' snap. I'm smelling something dead out here, so I think I'm gonna get on out of this area because something could have a kill that they're eating off of. And I don't wanna mess with a panther or bear or anything like that, so on to the next area. Okay, I just heard a thump from where I just came from. And like I said, I did smell something dead. So something could be out here eating it. Okay, well that might be a problem. Hmm, let me go look at this. Glad I wasn't driving by when that came down. Okay, so I think I bent it enough to get through here. Weird. Poor tree. Just must have happened. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to pop on here and um, say I appreciate you all, all the new subscribers, and for everybody that's watching my channel. Um, but I've noticed that like 90-something percent of the people that watch my channel, they're not subscribed. So if you could go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification, you'll get a notification of all my videos and it helps my algorithm. It's actually free. So if you could do that and hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. I appreciate you and thanks for watching. So this spot here kind of freaks me out because I've had things thrown at me in this area and I had what looked like a human on my game camera 45 minutes after we left and there was nobody else out here so this area kind of gives me the creeps and before I came here I charged my phone totally and if you look now it's completely not charged so to me that is really really weird man it is so thick and overgrown back here I bet you they're going to have a burn soon. Looks like this area was burnt recently. That's why they have these burns. Because the one I showed you before, that could catch on fire really easy. This makes it a little bit easier. And it helps the undergrowth too. It helps 
food developed for the deers and stuff. I don't know if they do that in other states, but I know they do it in Florida. They call them controlled burns. So dry that even the normal wet spots are dry. Looks like a lot of people have been bringing their vehicles back here and doing some mudding. It'd be cool to have a vehicle that can make it through that. I'm seeing a lot of broken toe straps, so they must have got stuck pretty good. It's so beautiful. It's so hot right now in Florida, but right now it's not too bad. Another hour or so, it'll be unbearable though. The humidity is not as bad today, so that helps. I just love the ferns. So tropical looking. I keep hearing some sort of chatter out here and it almost sounds like a human. I'm in a different area than the area that spooked me, but um, not too far away from it. I'm almost wondering if there's people squatting out here. Could be. Be awfully hot though. This is the area we found that very large print last year. I think it was like 19 inches long. But it wasn't very defined because it was in a puddle. It's still pretty cool. So I'm basically out here today just looking for prints. Not hiking a whole lot because it's very hot, but I am hiking some. So we'll see if we see anything. It's quiet. I hear a few birds and that's about it. Apparently nobody's been driving out here because there's a tree down. I see they've been driving around it. So they still have been coming out here. the heck was that? Hmm. I 
keep hearing something over to my left. There's something back there. Probably a wild boar. Looks like some tree structures back there too. Why must people knock over the portalette? I have no idea. Now nobody has a portalette to use. Seems like I'm always finding golf balls. Pinnacle gold. Looks like we have a cross over here. I was wondering what that's all about. Mr. Frank. Don't know who that is. Maybe it's in honor of him. Maybe they used to camp here a lot. Here's another one that says JM with a bunch of twisted tea cans around it. I'm definitely drawn to this tree line back here and we have seen things in there before but you know it's kind of hard to tell.